Have you ever had one of those epiphanic moments? This intuitive thing hits you and you know you must pursue it till the end. I became obsessed with a single image. It was Pope John Paul II's face on a large rainbow swirled lollipop outside of the Vatican. And for whatever reason, that image made me think of Elvis Presley and I got in the car, drove to Graceland and it became a film about three popular icons Elvis Presley, Pope John Paul II, and Princess Diana and their legacies and memorabilia and what they have meant over time. In 2020, I actually finished the film and didn't necessarily have anywhere to show it because of the global pandemic. And then Matt said, you know, this is a crazy thing, but hear me out. There's this grant and I think it might enable us to release the film this other way. The other way was with web monetization, which rather than buying tickets or streaming subscriptions, you would uh, stream money from people that were watching the film a little bit at a time. It sounded like a really interesting way to be able to release the film as broadly as we could. What we did is we ended up creating a website, thefaithful.com. People could come to the website. If they were web monetization user, they would then immediately get to see the film. If they weren't, they then had an option to either buy a ticket via a traditional method or via a, a coil a web monetization pass. In some ways, this was just another way that users could pay for the film and it basically gave us more ways that people could help support the film. What if this could serve as a model and what if we could support the work and support ongoing work, especially in this country, there isn't a lot of support for artistic endeavors. So this idea that micropayments could enable creativity to flourish was just a very seductive idea. The technology is really at its infancy, but it's quite usable. Paying for things digitally via credit cards is something that consumers are well aware of. But the process is slightly different with paying for and gating web monetized content. It's a lot of opportunity for what could be. Everything is not spelled out for you, I would say. And that's actually some of the attraction to the technology. The trick is to get everyone, all audiences, all people to convert to the subscription, to be part of this. How I like to explain it is that, you know, there was this idea of the internet that was not what we have today. You know, we, today we have this ad generated supported internet. And so it's led to, as we know, all sorts of corruption. And so what if we could return um, to the, these ideals? You can see how, just how easy it is. And then we just need a critical mass of people who agree and want to be part of, of this kind of ecosystem. Hi, my name is Suhi Cho, and I am the show creator and producer for Power Over It. One of the most frustrating things about being a content creator and building a business online is making sure that it's the right balance of what you want to put out there with what you are being asked to do by whoever is funding you or whatever sponsorships you get and so on. And that does dilute a lot of the freedom that content creators have in making something that's originally their own. Coil is really unique in that they completely trust you with what you're doing and they also give you full ownership and that's something that's super, super appealing. Creators are often, they self-identify themselves into these niche type of categories, right? So like beauty bloggers, there is like a certain language of how they're supposed to be perceived, what their language should be like, all of these things. If there is like a platform or a place where all these little small communities can connect with each other in a safe place, that would be really awesome. Coil has definitely changed my life and my friend Sarah's life, who is the host of the series Power Over It. We had Sarah and her interest in car, lifelong interest in cars. We had me and my multitasking, but there was no power over it until Coil. Hard to really believe that this is what we're doing right now. <laughs> Taking something that we genuinely are interested and passionate about and being given an opportunity to create a body of work that under normal circumstances would not have been possible. So for Coil to entrust us fully with what we're doing and providing the funding and all of these things and just genuinely supporting our vision and what 
we want to do that's been monumental and it's changed everything of how we perceive the next couple years of our lives going. Specifically for Power Over, we haven't really actually been monetizing. We have not qualified yet because it's a brand new channel um, for monetizing our YouTube channel. Opportunities for sponsorships come up, but for future seasons, because it does take a lot of time to negotiate these things and it's already been settled for this year. So we haven't been monetizing it, but there is definitely potential in the future for monetization. And that's something that's really exciting and another thing to think about going into the future. Coil was very upfront about what it is that they wanted to see. To have the guidance of what Coil wanted to see in order to be able to back us and our vision, that was laid out off the bat. So like an episodic breakdown and all these other list items that they wanted to see so they know that we're prepared and we have a clear vision of what we were gonna do and accomplish. It drove us and it really took us to the next level of what we were capable of accomplishing. It was just a really organic and fluid production overall because of the preparation in the front. Hey everyone, welcome to The Twist, a coil experiment, where I, Christelle Marie, give you your weekly web juice on the latest news, memes, and everything that's on fire in between. When it comes to creating anything for the internet, it should be just to create something awesome, put it out there, figure out ways to bring attention to it, and then let culture do its thing. And with social media, it's not culture doing the thing, it's a computer. And I feel like that's not a conversation a lot of people wanna have. We are making stuff for an algorithm, not for people anymore. They're not made to promote you or your work. You can essentially get demonetized for anything and you will not be able to stop it. That money goes towards promoting the platform, which is exactly why it's been so exciting to work with Coil. The best part of working the twist with Coil is that both teams come together with enthusiasm, energy, and a lot of funny ideas to make this great product for creators. We've been doing a lot of comedy when it comes to songs, sketches, and talk about things that are important for the creator community. It's been super fun to work with Coil, and the twist itself is an evolution of what the process has been like to go from the ground up, to build something from scratch and add elements as we saw windows of what might be fun to put in there. Entertainment because it's fun and amazing or cool or interesting and we like it and we want to consume it. The coil model does not depend on whether or not you are fitting the standard of socialmediaplatform.com. It depends on whether or not what you've made has simply made the audience engage with it. Another thing I really love is that there are very clear COVID guidelines of work. Some companies are not going to respect human dignity or just quality of life, just like the average minimum standard of quality of life. And they will put you in a position where you're putting your health at risk in order to create something so that you can earn a check. That's not the case if you are in charge of your work and you're monetizing through Coil. So I think it's really exciting to explore the many ways that new experiences can be made for an audience. And by the way, reward the audience because they also don't want to have random advertisements just shoved in their faces every time they're experiencing your work. They also want to be engaged and experience something new, interesting, brave, courageous, which are things you are not allowed to do, by the way, on most platforms because brave and courageous and new are probably not something the algorithm is gonna like. I think I speak for the entire team when we say that working with Coil has been one of our best experiences. Not only a producing partner that supports us financially and with resources that other partners wouldn't think that it's necessary, they actually care to make sure that we're happy and satisfied with the product that we're presenting. Maybe if we try to creatively come up with ways to design a different type of environment to engage with an audience or to create great work and set up a process where we get to once again share in a more direct way, maybe we might be able to take things back to the root of what art and creativity should be. Make great stuff.